Hey guys, what's going on? James here. And in this video today, we're going to be talking about how the Tampa Bay Buccaneers offensive coordinator Dave Canales is scheduled to have a second interview for the head coaching vacancy of the Carolina Panthers, why that is extremely bad. And there is an incredible amount of legitimacy of Dave Canales potentially leaving the Buccaneers to go to the Carolina Panthers. And I also want to talk about the theory. I know that I have been praising this guy a lot, but the Buccaneers have done this in the past. Could we see a situation where the Buccaneers may be so scared, so worried about losing Dave Canales, they may move on from Todd Bowles and promote Dave Canales to the head coach of this team? Now, that's just a theory. There's no sources. There's no reporting from me. It is just a theory that is in my mind that I wanted to talk about in this video today as well. So a lot to dive into and let's get started. It all began with the Carolina Panthers promoting ex-linebacker Dan Morgan to the general manager position. Dan Morgan, 45 years old, has been a player in the past for the Carolina Panthers, has been a guy who has had a couple of front office roles around the NFL. So Carolina Panthers have gotten their new general manager. We don't really have to talk about how this is going to affect the Carolina Panthers in a big, big way, but he is their new GM, which means, in my opinion, you're going to be seeing a move for a new head coach very shortly after this. And this upcoming week is going to be very busy for the Carolina Panthers. You have them already entering the second phase where they are going to be getting an in-person interview with their defensive coordinator, Evero. That is going to be a big deal in that mix. This part is 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 very interesting. You take a look here. The other names that have scheduled to have in-person interviews this week. Cincinnati Bengals offense coordinator Brian Callahan. Tampa Bay Buccaneers offense coordinator Dave Canales. And Los Angeles Rams defensive coordinator Raheem Morris. Now... Those three guys were scheduled to have interviews. I believe this is this would be a, a second interview for all of them. What makes this interesting is Brian Cat Callahan has already been reported to be hired to the uh, Tennessee Titans as their new head coach. If we can find the article, here we go. Titans near deal with Brian Callahan to be coach. So I believe that that means that he's essentially out of the running. So Dave Canales and Raheem Morris are going to be more locked in, more dialed in for the Panthers this week for their head coach opening. You also take a look here. Morgan worked with Canales in Seattle. Just to take a quick look. Dan Morgan from 2010 to 2017 held a few different jobs with the Seattle Seahawks as scouting intern, assistant director of pro personnel, and director of pro personnel. Dave Canales was the wide receivers coach for the entirety of that time. In fact, both of these guys came into the Seahawks the exact same year in 2010. That's concerning. That is certainly worrying because there is a lot of history with Dave Canales and with Dan Morgan. They are both of similar age. Also, I believe that he's also 45 years old, Dave Canales is, if I can see it. No, he's 42. So 45 and a 42-year-old, they both have a lot of history and experience together. You take a look at what Dan Morgan has done. Also, he was with the Buffalo Bills before he joined the Carolina Panthers. No former experience with Raheem Morris, as far as I can tell. I mean, even as a player... Not necessarily. He was with the Panthers and the Saints from 01 to 09. Raheem Morris during that time was not on the Panthers or the Saints, so to speak. He was with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers that entire, entire time, except for one random year at Kansas State. So point being is that Dan Morgan has a lot more of a history with Dave Canales than he does with Raheem Morris. And that should be worrying to a lot of Bucks fans because I believe that we could see those conversations heat up and, and you could even argue that Dave Canales would be the number one option, the front runner possibly for a Carolina Panthers head coaching position. But you also take a look here, offense coordinator Ben Johnson, who entered the search as the leading candidate, can't be interviewed until after Sunday's NFC championship game against the 49ers. Also, the same things can be said for Todd Munkin and Mike McDonald. Are the Panthers going to be willing to wait for the chance to interview those guys. They all had virtual interviews with Carolina next week, or last week, I guess I should say, all of them. So you you look at Todd Munkin, Mike McDonald, they both had virtual interviews. Ben Johnson had a virtual interview. Now you're getting Dave Canales and Raheem Morris with their second interviews, them being in person. So 
That's interesting, man, and I think it's worrying. I, I, I certainly, certainly think it is worrying if you're a fan of Dave Canales, if you like what Dave Canales has done for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers just because of the overall history that these two have with one another, the fact that the Panthers cannot interview Ben Johnson or Todd Munkin or Mike McDonald until after the championship games. That's if, by the way, Detroit and Baltimore do not go to the Super Bowl, which is a lot of people expect Baltimore to go to the Super Bowl. A lot of people kind of expect the Lions to get eliminated by the San Francisco 49ers. But does that mean the Panthers are going to be willing to wait that long another week or two weeks? I don't know, man. It is concerning, in my opinion, because I like Dave Canales. I like what he has done this year. I like what he has brought to this offense. He really has done a fantastic job. And I believe the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are a big fan of his as well. In fact... I'm going to throw a theory out there. I believe the answer is no, but I would love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions about this down in the comments section below. If there is a situation where the Carolina Panthers are ready to hire away Dave Canales as their new head coach of that football team, could you see a scenario a la Lovey Smith and Dirk Cutter where the Tampa Bay Buccaneers fired Lovey Smith, and immediately promoted his offensive coordinator in Dirk Cutter to the head coaching position. Could we see a similar scenario play out? I don't know. Maybe it would just be as simple as, hey, Dave Canales, we'll give you more money. Please stay. We love you. Maybe it would go even deeper than that. Uh, that's just a theory, in my opinion. Uh, I, that That is just something I want to throw out there just to see what you guys think about that. The Buccaneers have had a history of doing that in the past. I think that Dave Canales would be a head coaching, a good head coaching candidate, be it with the Bucs or the Panthers. But I also think that Todd Bowles did a fantastic job this year and has earned the right to keep his job. But whenever you think about the idea of... If you lose Dave Canales, what's going on with Baker Mayfield at that point? Because he's going to have a new offensive play caller, a new offensive coordinator. That's tough as well. Does Baker Mayfield even want to come back at that point? If you lose Dave Canales, do you also lose Baker Mayfield? And I'm not saying Baker Mayfield would go off and go to the Carolina Panthers because that situation didn't work out for him. But it, it does raise some questions. It does. And, and you could see that situation get so much murkier, so many more questions get raised up. And... It's just a really difficult, tricky situation, more so if you lose Dave Canales. Now, Baker Mayfield had talked about second post, post game against the Lions. He had spoken as if he wanted to get a second year in the system, which could hint at the idea that Dave Canales is just going to come back no matter what. But the fact that Dan Morgan does have so much of a history, again, seven years he worked with Dave Canales. That is not nothing, man. Seven years is seven years. That's a good amount of time to be working with somebody and get very familiar with what they can be as a potential head coach. You also have the fact that Brian Callahan is hired away. You also have the fact that they can't interview their possible top candidates in Ben Johnson, Todd Munkin, and Mike McDonald. Do you want to wait on that? I don't know, man. I don't know. It's it's something to keep an eye on. It's something that's very interesting. Maybe they may, may, might also go for Raheem Morris as well and just go with a new face, but there's a lot of threads there's a lot of threads, which led me, which leads me to think of that idea of, oh man, are the Glaziers and Jason Light so infatuated with this idea of Dave Canales reviving Baker Mayfield's career and the idea of having a young offensive head coach? And they that 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 could they possibly shock the world, move on from a Todd Bowles and just promote a Dave Canales? I don't know. I don't know. Would that be fair? Probably not, but do you really want to run the risk of, I wouldn't even say probably, I don't think it would be fair to Todd Bowles, but do you want to run the risk of losing Dave Canales? If, 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 if Tampa gets word, if Dave says, I'm going to take this job with the Carolina Panthers division rival, uh, do you want to run that risk of, of him developing Bryce Young and potentially turning him into a good quarterback and him being the franchise guy and Dave Canales being the young great coach for the Panthers for, for many years to come. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you guys think I'm over assuming or I am over hyping Dave Canales and what he brings as a potential head coach. But 
I think that that was a fantastic hire by Todd Bowles, and he would have to make yet another offensive coordinator hire again, which we don't even know if that would work out well. That could affect Baker Mayfield and his decision to come back to Tampa hugely because he would have to have another offensive coordinator or an offensive play caller regardless and new and off- learn a new offensive system. So would it want to be with Tampa Bay? Would it want to be with somewhere else? I don't know. That could have such a crazy ripple effect on the Bucks if Dave Canales leaves. It's true. It just is. So we'll see, guys. Pay attention to it. Fingers crossed. You know, stay strong. Let's see what happens. I know that this is a bit of a... And I'm not even trying to say this is doom and gloom. Don't get me wrong. I'd be, you know, be cool for Dave Canales to be a head coach. I'd be happy for him. But you got to worry about what that would mean for the Bucs. So we'll see. But guys, let me know your thoughts and opinions about this down in the comments section below. I'd love to hear it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed. As always, guys, I'll see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now. And go Bucks.